What's up everyone, Matt here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get that blurry background or bokeh or shallow depth of field look from any photo using Lightroom Mobile on your phone. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom Mobile. The first thing we're gonna do is go to masking, hit the plus, and then select subject. And you can see it does a pretty good job at actually detecting the subject here. I'm gonna go and clean this up, so we're gonna do subtract from mask, select brush. Then we just need to change a few settings. I'm gonna turn the flow up so it's a little bit more aggressive as I remove parts of the mask. And here you can just go and remove parts that you don't want in the mask. So at this point, it's anything that isn't the car, any of the background, the leaves over here, anything like that. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You can actually go and clean it up later. So we'll just clean up the front here, try to get some of the tired show. On this image specifically to make this blur look real, we actually need to remove some of the windshield because on a real camera, it would blur that depth. So I'm just gonna change the flow and keep it kind of light. So we have that, looks good. Let's go ahead and select our mask and invert it. At this point, you can really see which parts you need to clean up, but we'll do this after. Now we'll select detail, take the sharpness and turn it down. From here, you can see it instantly blurs that background and you don't ever wanna overdo this. So sometimes it's good to back it off a little bit and just make it a little bit more realistic. This looks pretty good here. At this point, I just wanna get rid of some of the blur that's on the car. So we'll click on our mask and we will subtract from mask. Select the brush. And I like to just touch somewhere to get started. And then we'll go and clean this up. The mirror is a little blurry here, remove that. Go over to the next mirror. Maybe the tire could use a little bit. This mirror is a little blurry. And that's pretty good. I think that looks, looks solid here. Another little detail here that might help is let's actually make this mask brush really big and actually remove some of the blur on the concrete leading up to the car. I think this is really gonna sell it. So we'll hide these menus and let's just swipe across a couple times. Just to remove a little bit of the blur and see some of that concrete peeking through. You can really start to see some of those lines and I think this is what an actual camera with a shallow depth of field would give you. So that looks good. Now let's go over to the healing brush. I'm just gonna remove this line. So we'll just draw all over it and it's actually just gonna clean it up. Perfect, that looks great. Last thing to do on this is just add one of my presets. So I'm gonna go to presets, user presets and select dark and moody. This one's already kind of dialed to give me the look I'm going for on this image. And if you wanna download the preset, you can get it for free in the description below. Here is the before and here's the after. Again, before and after. And that's it, super simple process. Wanted to make a short, quick video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit me with a like or a sub for the algorithm. Stay tuned for more videos coming out soon.